Dancing is an art. The floor is my canvas and I am the brush. And whatever I create comes from the heart. Today, I have the privilege of talking to you about my passion, dancing, and how channeling your creativity into hobbies will make you a happier person. Consciousness expresses itself through creation. This world that we live in is the dance of the creator. Dancers come and go in the twinkling of an eye, but the dance lives on. On many occasions when I'm dancing, I have felt touched by something sacred. In those moments, I felt my spirit soar and become one with everything that exists. Dance, for some, is a profession. But for most, like me, dance is a hobby. And for plenty, it is something that can be performed anywhere. All around the world, hobbies provoke different feelings of joy. The World Health Organization proves that with a lack of physical exercise and hobbies, both boys and girls' current and future health will rapidly decline. Dance is a spontaneous response related to our need to express and communicate our emotions through movement and the body. Dance is the hidden language of the soul. And for everyone, the experience is different. For me, around five years ago, my life changed forever. I was an eight-year-old boy trying out numerous activities, some of which I liked and others not as much. My mum encouraged me to try dancing at a local dance school. Being a shy and quiet kid, the thought of that was particularly daunting and not something I thought I would ever enjoy. I found it overwhelming and equally nerve-wracking. But at the same time, there was something liberating about going along, listening to loud music and learning to express myself through dance. I made new friends, my confidence grew, my happiness thrived, my creativity emerged, and in turn, this opened untold opportunities for me. I'm so thankful I didn't give up and persevered, as I can't imagine my life without the freedom of dance. I went on to join two groups, Flawless Dance School and a crew called Fortunity, who both reached the semi-finals in Britain's Got Talent. My styles of dance are hip-hop and street dance, but they're all styles of dance to choose from. I have been lucky enough to dance at several events, such as a QPR football match as their half-time entertainment, the O2, Dancers Delight and Move It, which are both prestigious dance events. My love, commitment and passion has seen me competing nationally with a crew, as a solo and as part of a duo. It's even opened other doors for me, such as acting, performing, and even teaching at Harrow Arts Centre. Lockdown was a challenging time for us all. It impacted our lives in ways we never thought possible. I couldn't go to dance, and like everyone, Zoom became a normality. I found various online classes which I would do, and was able to see other faces and generally keep in touch with others outside of my home. This proved to be my saving grace. Here at John Lyon, we are incredibly lucky with all the extracurricular activities made available to us. However, from personal experience, finding a hobby outside of school is especially important. No matter what the day has in store, my hobby is my outlet, which helps me cope. And don't get me wrong, I love to watch TV, go out with all my friends, all the usual stuff, but dance provides me with the physical and mental rewards that are needed. The benefits of hobbies are widely recognized. The Society of Behavioral Medicine published an article in 2015 showing that hobbies provided consistent with in-person benefits on a person's daily health and well-being. People who had hobbies were found to be in a better mood, have more interests, be less stressed, and exhibited lower heart rates. In 2019, the Institute of Psychology in Belgrade reported a clear indication that the more teenagers engaged in hobbies, the more positive well-being aspects were expressed. Another clear indication of the benefits of hobbies. A study produced by researchers from the World Health Organization 
found that more than 80% of school-going adolescents globally did not meet current recommendations of at least one hour of physical activity per day, including 85% of girls and 78% of boys. I have given you a brief insight as to what has been life-changing for me. When you try something new, give it time. Don't give up and be open-minded. You may be lucky enough to have found your hobby. For some, it may be football, drama, music, or even art. The list is endless. For those who haven't, keep trying different things, as a hobby will teach you discipline, time management, and skills that, like school, will help you be the best version of yourself you can be. Nobody has ever learned and perfected anything in a day, in a week, or even in a month. Every successor before us has failed repeatedly until they finally reach what they believe to be perfection. To dance is to be out of yourself, larger, more beautiful, more powerful. This is power, it is glory on earth, and it is yours for the taking. Thank you very much.